Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Negative Zero and today I wanted to talk about some experimenting I've been doing with a little app called Liquid Sky. Liquid Sky allows you to play PC games on your Android device. Mostly. Sort of. It's not quite a streaming service like PlayStation Now, GeForce Now, or Gamefly Streaming. Instead, Liquid Sky rents you a high-end cloud computer on which you can download games you own through Steam, Origin, or Blizzard, or so on. You can then stream gameplay to your Android device. Liquid Sky is in version 2.0, and the Android app, which is in beta and not officially released, has recently been updated to version 0.2.1 at the time of this recording. I should note that Liquid Sky is also available for Windows and coming soon to Macs, but I'll only be concerning myself with the Android app. I had to sideload it to my Shield TV since the app does not support Android TV devices, so my impressions must be taken with a grain of salt since I'm not using the app as the developers originally intended. That said, it works pretty well. The latency that you always hear about with cloud gaming is barely noticeable. I was actually impressed with that part of the service. I do have some concerns with the visuals, however. It seemed to alternate between 480p and 720p. I was hoping for a solid 720, but no such luck. Now, there are a lot of factors here, including my Wi-Fi setup and internet connection, as well as the performance level of the cloud computer you choose with Liquid Sky. Another thing I should point out is the mouse. See, to go through the menus to get to your games requires you to sometimes use your controller as a mouse. Once you're in-game, the mouse pointer should be gone, but what actually happens is that whenever you use the right stick of your controller, the mouse pointer moves around the screen. That might be happening because I'm using my Shield TV Bluetooth controller and Liquid Sky recommends a wired controller. I'm not sure, but the mouse pointer thing is my biggest gripe with this app. $10 will get you 25 hours of use on the cloud computer with the mid-level performance. I'm not entirely convinced that the price is worth it, but I keep coming back to the fact that I just played Skyrim on my Android device. I can play KOTOR 2 on Android, and you can too. It's something to think about. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think about Liquid Sky's cloud computing service in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Take care.